Welcome back programmers. In the previous video we saw how you can create mesh and sending app using Django Twilio and obviously the Python. So in the today's section I'm gonna show you how you can create the redirection link of OTP submission and I think this is the fourth part of TikTok series. Link is in the description. Check out now. So in here you can see I just created ahref equal to http 192.168 which is my local host IP. In here when you deploy your site you have to add your main domain name in here but because i'm developing this site i have i'm adding 192.168 which is my local host now if you know in the previous video we just sent the message welcome to watch me and so on so and here he can see activate your account your secret digit is this digit which is the random otp now if you want to send the html content in sms you have to do something but we are not gonna send the html content we are just gonna send the link and the sms you can see in here your secret digit is random otp and click here to submit otp slash activate email equal to request dot user dot username now you can change email to phone number let's change it let's try phone number and code equal to random otp so when we send the message so user can retrieve the code and the phone number now we are gonna create the auto submit otp and that's why we are sending random otp with the get data and i know this is insecure but user must be very careful you can even add the message this is the secret number please don't share or any shit now we have to create the activate page so let's create in here you can see I just created the activate URL and so on so we are gonna create the function for activate URL we are gonna scrape the phone number and OTP you can see phone and code so let's try phone equal to request dot get dot get code and so on so phone now we are gonna return redirect to activate dot HTML so in the templates in the account app let's create the activate.html now in the activate.html you can create the form method equal to obviously the post and in the form you can create the input tag and input placeholder equal to uh, we are gonna pass the code so let's say code and input type equal to integer integer or you can say number and so on so let's create this submit button so this is the placeholder which we oops not no no we have to pass value equal to code now we are gonna pass the context in here and the first parameter is obviously the request and the second one is account app slash activate dot html let's try oops you have to pass the render in here not a redirector you can see we got the tiny input in here now let's pass the context which is the code like this and pass that context in here now let's try but first i'm gonna remove my other id which we used in the previous video now in here i'm gonna register my account so first I'm gonna add my phone number with the plus 91 and so on so then I'm gonna pass my password and I'm gonna pass my password again and then I'm gonna click on the submit so in here you can see I got this message with the OTP and even you can see I got this type of OTP using true color you can see 209115 is my otp so that's how you can create the otp so let's try when i click on the otp you can see sent from your twilio trial account thanks for joining in watch me video sharing site active your account your secret digit is 209115 and click here to submit otp so whenever user can click in here it should be oops i forgot to add account in here let's try this again so simply just add the your app name which you entered in url main url and so on so let's try again account and register so again you can see in here i got 386145 otp you can copy this otp too but i created some smart work in here so when i click on link 
you can see this is redirecting me in this input and why i can't see any value in here let's try this you can see in here phone equal to we didn't got anything so we have to do this too we put a space in here that's the problem so this isn't redirecting to the perfect link you can see after phone equal to we got new line so i'm gonna delete this message and i'm gonna try again so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna simply just replace this line with the single line and i'm gonna replace this all line with the single line too now let's try you can see i got the message again so now let's try you can see now we got code equal to 193431 and so on so and sorry phone equal to system and code equal to 193431 and even you can see we just auto fill the input with 193431 so that's how you can auto fill the input and that's how you can redirecting from message to your account app so you can see the code is 193431 in here you can see 193431 and when i click on the register activate my account so you can see it is auto filling up my code so that's the easiest way you can do in here so now let's just log in and for that i'm gonna do is simply i'm gonna uh, store that code in usr phot if usr photp is available then user can log in if this isn't available so please submit your otp so that is it for today's guys if you like this video just like this video share this video to other programmer hit on the bell icon so you never miss my latest video. so that was the interesting video please share this with your other programmer see you guys in the next video till then just code